<laughs> the things you see at Good Guys. Okay, we're gonna do something a little different today. We are at the 2021 Good Guys Car Show in Columbus, Ohio. Lots more cars here than yesterday, weren't there, buddy? Uh, but we've been sitting in line for about three hours just to get in here. And this guy's getting a little hungry, so we're gonna uh, get him some food and then we'll get back at it. Okay, dude. I had a 67 in school, but it was nothing like this. George is starting to get a fascination with Novas now. I think you're starting to get a little better taste, dude. Good lots. Look at the interior. Oh, I'm just trying to get ideas for my interior. This is the main thing that I wanted to see. Is a what is that again? 1970. Dodge Charger. You're acting like you know your cars, dude. Dude, what'd you just say? If I was still six, I'd be all over those I things. was just thinking that. I remember when you had a fascination with any van that you ever saw. You're like, oh, a van, a van. You just get so all excited. This 44 truck is so nice. Yeah, see it again. This was one here yesterday. I don't like it though. What do you mean you like it? I like it. I love it. You love it? Hey, a little story. The thing that got me into 40 Fords is when I went to my first show, I seen a 40 Ford truck. And that's what got me into them because I love the front end. But when I seen Jerry Moreland's 1940 Ford on the cover of Hot Rod Magazine, that was it for me. Uh, it was over. Then that's when I found one in the local paper, begged your grandpa to buy it, and he let me do it. And I still got it today. So, yeah. that worked out. So we found the gentleman that owns this, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about what he... Uh... When I was young, my older brother had a 40 Ford pickup, and that's all I wanted. My whole life I wanted a 40 Ford pickup. After high school, with the army, then with college, then with working, then I got married. Finally, I got a garage. I bought a 40 Ford pickup. In 1976, I bought that. And I've had it ever since then. In primer, on the road since 77. Nice. I've almost had mine as long. I bought mine and it was like uh, 1984. Yeah. I, I was around six, uh, 15, 14, 15 years old. I still have it today. Yeah. So, I love them. Yeah, me too. I'm trying to get him into this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Here's something you don't see very often. And, let's check out the Hey, George. Yeah. I like how they did this in the interior. See how they did the, the metal? Yep. I was thinking about doing perforated <laughs> aluminum. They did it down here in the console, too. I don't know if you can see it down there. Yeah. I really like how they did that. Yeah, it's nice. Well, this thing's crazy. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Oh, that's cool. I don't know what it is with you and Nova's. Do you like Nova's? Yeah. So my dad bought me this Nova when I was a kid. I was a kid. I was I was 16, but that's a kid, right? Really? Yeah, that's silly. Really, yeah, it's that 19, awesome. 1973. So you've had it all these years. What? Yeah. So you've only had it for about 15 years? Uh, something like that. I'm only about 35. Oh, I love <laughs> that. But no, my dad bought the car for 50 bucks. Nice. It was pretty rough shape. <laughs> So uh, you have a beautiful car now. Yeah, it's a pretty car. Okay, I noticed your bumpers in the back and everything, but you actually did something different here. Do you want to explain that? Uh, basically, you got to take about three bumpers and cut them down and re weld them back together to remove the license plate uh, recess. I, I got to tell you, I, I think that's turned well spent. That looks amazing. I love how clean it is under the hood. I can't believe you guys had this set in, in the garage as a shelf for how many years? Uh, from 1987. Oh wow. This looks amazing. 
it was kind of done with the uh, expectation of trying to make it look like what Chevy could or should have done back in 1964. I mean, this looks great. That's I love how you kept the, the bolts on there, too. Yeah. Yeah, we we I mean, did that, we tucked them, but we left the bolts on, making it look like it could have come down the assembly line. Most people take those off, but I love how you kept those on. Yeah, it was a conscious decision. <laughs> There's a lot of conscious decisions that people don't really realize, you know, keep yeah. your molding, keep your grip molding, things like that. You're going to get him hooked. <laughs> well, that's the whole idea. We need to. I am hooked. Oh, look at that. You look good in that car, dude. Yeah, well, I bet it feels good, right? Yeah. It feels great. You ought to start it, Corey. Start it right here. That's something I've been wanting to do. I want to put stripes down the center of my car, but this in here is coated with a satin clear. It's the exact same color as this, only it's done with a satin clear. And it just looks amazing. They even went ahead and put it on the radio. Details in this car, everything's subtle. But it is absolutely beautiful. That is a lucky young lady back there. Here you go, dude. Another one. Convertible. This one's nice. I like their stripe. I like how it's done on one side. I like how everybody's mixing the satin with the gloss. It's probably something we should do on the 40, huh? Dad, if from here you can barely see this logo right here. I don't know if Oh, I noticed it. that. Good eye, Dad. My son, he's like into Novas now, and he just happened to see this. Can you tell us something about it? Yeah, this is a uh, 63. It's an SS. Uh, guy brought it to us. So we built it in 2014, and it was a, um, we put TCI suspension in there, air ride. It had a little 327 that we just repainted, put a new uh, intake and carb on there. And it had some rush fourth wheels, and it was all brown. It was, this is the car on my shirt. Oh, okay. So that's what it was when we first did it. And then um, uh, we were taking it to SEMA in 2019, so we repainted it. That's where we added the stripe yeah, I like that. and uh, changed George it. George noticed your little detail yeah. right there. Yep. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but that little embossment, that is neat. Yep, that's a buddy of mine owns Blackfire Creative. Uh, they do vinyl wraps and all that. So yeah. he did that whole deal. They wrapped the calipers for us and stuff. So, so we got the um, different wheels, put the LS3 in it, and then uh, it's got the Kindig handles. Yeah, I noticed that. I yeah. wish I could have those in my 40 Ford, but unfortunately, 40 Fords don't give you much room in between the door glasses. Yeah, the there's not, so, it's a lot of work to get yeah. to get that stuff to work. So, so. I'm going to cheat and use solenoids. Yeah. No, that works. Or just the windows, yep. some remotes. And yeah, the remote thing. windows works good. We've done solenoids and stuff for years, but after a while, dead batteries and all that stuff, it just becomes a pain. So these I'm work really the good. Thing into the window, so I yeah. just pop, oh, like, yeah. Yeah, pop my arm through yeah. there. And just Usually those cards are pretty safe. Everybody always wants to lock them up. I'm like, who's yeah. going to mess with them? I, I will put a door pole underneath somewhere yeah. so you can just kind of pop it real quick. Cause sure. It's just too bad we got a little bit of rain today. And yeah, kind of like I had to put the dirty. top up and wipe it down a little How's bit. How's the interior but, look? Ah, pretty good. So that's the interior from the, from the first round when we painted it brown. And um, we're looking at upgrading the seat so we have a little more bolstered racing seat. This one you slide around in a little bit. Okay. But that's all custom. There's the air ride set up in the middle. Yeah, I like the how dash, it... we continued that peak all the way across and then sunk all the gauges in. Very nice. Yeah. I like the door handles too. I feel like I've seen those somewhere. Yeah, those are... Uh, oh, I can't remember the name of them. We just got them a little while ago. Uh, all the... All the Side panels are custom built <clears throat> by Premier Upholstery. They're just down the street from our shop. Okay. And yours is Vessio's in Minnesota. Yep, yep. Vessio's Customs in Minnesota. And we will put the uh, link in the description. You sit there if you want to have him do any work for you. We'll we'll get Bo in there and maybe yeah. some work. Yeah, yeah. We got a big shop. 
about 13 people in there working 13,000 square feet. So we've got 20 of these things going all the time. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, you must love what you do because this is beautiful. Oh, we do love it. These wheels, I didn't get a close up of that. Yeah, those are shots wheels, so pretty cool. Okay, we got this opened up. And please realize that it has been raining here in Ohio and it's hard to keep things cleaned up. Yeah. But I like how you've done the satin underneath here and stuff. It just keeps it clean. Yeah, that's a. Yeah, so it had a 327 in there, I said before, and then that motor kind of got tired. So that's an LS3, but this has been in here for um, probably three, four years now. And it's got 6,000 miles on it, so it's a, hey, it's, it's a, a yeah, it's a driver. That's, but uh, that's what they're for. Yeah, right? all this uh, the TCI front suspension, so we made all inner yeah, panels and, and a couple of covers. Yeah, had the in the front. Yep, here. that's all air ride. Yeah, I, that's what I like. I like drivers. Yeah, I mean, this is a nice, easy crate motor, just the 430 horse, which is plenty for this little car. Yeah, I always say it's. Uh, you shouldn't have a hot rod if you're not going to hot rod it. Yeah, <laughs> that's so. about it. <laughs> you have to go after this. You liking this one? You're right. I like the color combo. I'd rather say it right. I'm liking how they're putting the satin and stuff in the other. It's a good call. I'm not yours. Yeah. George, here's an idea too. What's up? Put something like a name in the stripes. Oh, yeah. We'll just do F O R D Y. No. No, we don't. George spotted a Firebird, but this truck is too clean. Everything is clean on this thing. Everything kept simple. I'm loving the little details right here in the door holes here. I steal that from mine. The only thing we don't do in Alice is uh, culture. Everything else we do. Everything in house. All right, we found this super clean truck, and we have the builder right here. Yeah, and your name is Ron Jones from Windsor, Colorado. And can you tell me a little bit about the truck? So yeah, um, this is quite extensive build actually. Um, we have built the chassis. Um, the rear fenders are all hand built out of aluminum. Running boards are aluminum. Um, the only thing really stock uh, left on the truck is the cab and the doors. Everything else we pretty much hand formed. Let's know some details back here. As far as the chassis, it's a three link, um, nine inch rear, wheel wood brakes. Mike Curtis cut the one off wheels for us. It's all solid walnut. I, I like how you have the prop too, so you can get up to Right. This is an aluminum frame for the wood bed. That is nice. <laughs> Something, just little details. I, I know this is stupid, but I'm going to steal this on my car. These door poles. Yeah. Oh, those are inset. Yeah, so basically there's a there's a chain in there that we just uh, you know attach it there. These are machined, these are machined. Thomas at uh, Pinky's Rod Shop built those for us. He machined the steering wheel for us. Yeah, I'm liking how the dash, a little bit of inset, a little little Ferrari leather interior, wool carpet. Oh, I just noticed a little detail, just like two little frame on the, uh, the seat frame. The seat frame. Yeah, it's got a little cover in there. Right. Yes. Yeah, so the seats are out of a, a late model Mustang. We obviously cut the uh, the headrests off. They're super comfortable. We pushed the firewall an inch and a half forward because our owner's about uh, he's about six three, so we had to give him as much room as we possibly could in the cab of this. I love how it's kept really simple. It is simple. But you get to the power plant and it's just super clean. Or in the driver's seat. And I noticed the trend that everybody's gone, they're going with the satin here. It's right. probably something that I'm going to do myself. But to wedge a motor like that in there and keep it that clean, right. that, that's some amazing work. Thank you. Appreciate that. The grill here, it looks a little shorter than what a normal grill is. Yeah, so that's out of a, that's out of a 56 Ford pickup, and we took 18 inches out of it. That looks really good. And 
I see you got some perforated metal back behind there for the texture and everything. Yeah. It's just super clean. So we've done a lot of different textures and finishes. Like this yeah, is, I see the sand. This is Cerakote. This is Cerakote. That's Cerakote. The engine, uh, so, so some of the interior pieces are Cerakote, which is a gun coating. Yeah, just with the gun coating. Yep. Can't get you, we'll get you in the descriptions and sit there and let people see your work Sounds as well. Good. They, you have a website. We do. Yep, okay. ronjonesgarage.com. But in Windsor, Colorado, we've got 15 full-time employees. Um, yeah, it'd be great. All right. This is nice meeting you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks. I'll give you one of my cards. Dude, I don't know what you think about this because I know you like C10s. Yeah. But judging from the look on your face, I'm going to say you really like this one. Uh, yeah, suicide doors. Interior is really nice. We got in the bed here. There are tons of little details on here, dude. Like in the little cutouts. That is top Beautiful car. I should say beautiful truck. Uh, hey George, here's so, something you don't see. Somebody put a Ford in a Ford. Can you believe it? Come on, dude. Can you believe it? Talk to me. Somebody put a Ford in a Ford. Talk to me. You are. George, you checking out this craziness? So, what do you I think about that, dude? It's nice. Wait, like, give me ideas? Yeah. Dude, Hellcat Charger. There is just so much going on. Dude, I've seen this car before. I absolutely love this Studebaker right behind you. I've seen it so many times. It is such a clean car. I love it. Digging it, aren't you? Oh, yeah. So nice. It's got some of the newer touches on it. Look, George. Six grand. I tried. That's what we like. This is something you don't see at a car show. Super like clean seat tires. This entire car. So you got the time. This looks amazing. Yeah. All right, somebody already made it in here. Dude, this is too comfortable. This thing is super clean. Look at this. The woodwork is so nice. I love how they made everything work together here in the cabinets. We should buy it. With what? Your mom's money? Any money. Just <laughs> buy it. Alright, let's get out of here. We gotta watch these two party animals right here. <laughs> George, they got some high dollar accessories on this thing. Everybody does. Oh my gosh. These people got money. I love this little accent in the flames right here. That is nice. Yeah, that's one way to fix your bed. Yeah. At least it's not giant rubber balls on the back. I'm kind of digging this one. Okay, dude, I'm going to put this on your list of why. These are the exact wheels I want for the morning. I'm surprised you haven't seen this yet. You like trucks. Oh. 
in this thing. Wow. This is oh. We're being watched. Okay, we're back at Hammer Fab, but they have this GMC truck that just showcases some of their products and what you can do with them. But I love the motor. And something else about this, the interior is so nice, clean, just a nice setup, but here's what's really cool. The bed of the truck lifts up so you can see everything in the back, and they have a little trunk space. Right where under they have a little gas cap. But a little bit of trunk space to keep things out of the way. The things you see at Good Guys. Well, that's it for today. We had to park about a mile away from the uh, entrance, so. But we did get in. Um, it's about a three hour wait this morning to get in, but we made it. And I hope you liked the video. Um, check out some of the builders that. Uh, we got to talk to earlier. I'll put them in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.